Spencer, a big improvement on uh, last Saturday, uh, but you still didn't win. You've got to be really disappointed. Yeah, really proud of the effort. I thought it was a, a really tough game. Two sides going at hammer and tongs on a, a really difficult, bobbly pitch, and there was nothing in it, and uh, absolutely nothing in it over the course of the game. And, you know, we felt everything went against us, particularly in the first half, decision-wise. And I'm, I'm really proud of the effort we put in. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough, and uh, it said no one, I think, would have. Uh, been too surprised if it had finished up a draw and uh, disappointed that we haven't quite done enough in the second half. But it was it was really it was there was nothing in the game and a lot of credit to us for that. But we we, we do realise we've got to start getting points. But we've given what a side that I, I think will win the league absolute quality throughout them and we've limited them to very little. And we just didn't have that final spark just to work the keeper much in the second half. We got ourselves into some good areas and very very disappointed because I said I think in both games. We've done ourselves an awful lot of credit, but the fact of it is, is we haven't got any points, and you've got to give credit to Eastleigh for grinding out the results on a difficult pitch. Yeah, now I, I never really complain about um, officials because it is a difficult job for them. Having said that, um, it did make some uh, key uh, decisions today, which seemed very, very strange in my book. Yeah, look, again, I'm like you. I'm, I'm not really one for criticising officials. Um, but I'll break that habit today. I thought I thought they had a nightmare. Uh, both linesmen might as well have not been here. You've got decisions one yard in front of the linesman. The linesman wasn't giving the decision for the penalty was just farcical. I mean, the linesman's given us the throw in. Our lot have gone to take the throw in. The referees overruled it. It was right in front of the linesman. They've thrown it in and he's given a penalty, which was dubious at best. And as I said, the linesman was was got out of jail there by uh, by the penalty save. So. So, yeah, things go against you, but you've got to battle through. And as I said, you've got to give Eastleigh a lot of credit. We we really subdued a very strong side. They've got quality everywhere around. And there was, I said, the best compliment I can give. I thought there was very very little in the game. We just didn't have that final little edge to try and get ourselves what I think would have been a thoroughly deserved point. And you know, we've got to pick ourselves up. And uh, if we show that level of work rate and determination through the rest of the season, we'll be okay. Yeah, he didn't seem to be able to penetrate a very strong defence there and consequently uh, didn't uh, have many chances. Well, in the second half, completely agree, but the first half we've had by far the best chances. Uh, young George Sykes has got through there and he's got to go around the keeper there, hasn't he? And he's let the keeper smuggle that and they get away with the corner. Uh, Dan Bennett really has got to shoot, hasn't he? He's two yards out after the mistake in the first half. We should be scoring there and, and the keeper's brought off a good save from Phil Page and ten seconds later the ball's in the back of the net, although my defenders are Adam is offside, but we'll wait and see the tape. You saw the ruthlessness there of, of Eastley. They, they've, they've made a great save in their end, and ten seconds later, they, they've scored the only goal of the game that's, that's won them the game. So, first half we definitely had the better of the chances. Second half, I think, it was really only sort of one, two chances. The whole half, one with their lad with a great volley that went wide, and literally in stoppage time, where there was a scramble where we were playing five up top. So it's sort of understandable. But as I said, a lot of credit to my lads. I was really proud of the effort. And, and I said, just that little spark, as you say, to open them up, particularly in the second half, didn't come. And uh, we've got to make sure that we uh, we get back to winning ways, hopefully starting on Tuesday at Hayes. Hayes and Yedin, um, last Saturday, uh, put in a, a sterling performance against Eastleigh, but uh, came away with nothing. You've really got to start winning now and uh, put some light between you and the relegation places. Can you start against Hayes and Yedin? Of course, we hope so. I mean, very, very difficult place to go. Hayes signed just a wealth of, of quality players in the last month or so. They haven't played much, but they've been playing full-size training games on the 3G. That's the benefit to a club that has one of those. Uh, they beat us here fair and square. Uh, we know it'll be a very di difficult game for us. Our waveform isn't great. And we've got this period here of playing the top four sides in the next five games as such. We, you know, we narrowly came up just short against Eastleigh, where I thought we deserved the point. They're very difficult games and we've got this really difficult clutch of games. Um, Hayes coming up, followed by the, the next top three in the league in, in, in Sutton, uh, Ebbsfleet and, and uh, Bromley. So, you know, massively difficult period, um, especially when, you know, we've really struggled with the weather. But, you know, it, it's things that we can look forward to, tough games, and, you know, we'll try and upset the odds again. Thank you, Spencer, and uh, best of luck.